Today I want to show you how to make these coasters. They are a silicone mold. They hold about 90 ml of epoxy. I do it in two layers because I want to put a decal on them. I use Promarine epoxy. I'm going to make these coasters black and silver. So I'm going to use the Promarine mica powder. And I don't have any silver, so I thought I would use this mixative for my silver. The colors will be different, but when they are done, the coasters will look something like this. I sell a set of four coasters in one set for $20. I just set up my coasters and I will pour in hold on I gotta get another cup I forgot I will divide this epoxy into two cups. That way I can have some silver and some black. And I use a epoxy mixer from Hobby Lobby to stir my epoxy. Works great. Pour in a little bit of this black mica powder. I don't measure it, I just pour. Then I'll put in some silver. Mix this up. Mix it thoroughly so it's not clear in parts and gray you want it good and black then I'll stir up this silver see if I got enough silver in the epoxy oh yeah I have more than enough alcohol ink in there making lots of football coasters so I just kind of pour it in one half of the mold and it'll spread around this is uh, 60 ml of epoxy so it's 60 ml of part A, 60 ml of part B. And that'll spread out as it levels. Now I'll put in the silver and with this I will let these cure overnight and then I'll decal the next layer or this layer after it's hardened I'll decal it then after that hardens I will put I said that all wrong after this level cures, I'll put the decal on it, then I'll put a layer of clear 
just regular epoxy over it and let it cure then it's ready to be sold and I usually take my popsicle stick and I kind of mix them together a little bit to give it a little bit of design and I let them sit for a minute and then I'll use my torch because you'll have little air bubbles in your resin And you can pick up your mold, kind of move your epoxy around if you want to. That way all your corners are filled. Since this is just one layer. Kind of speed it up, moving around by tipping it around. And then I'll use my torch and carefully... Keep your flame kind of low because you don't want to torch your resin mold. And just kind of lightly go over it everywhere. And you'll pop those micro bubbles. Sometimes they come back to the surface, so kind of keep an eye on your mold for a little bit to make sure that you aren't getting a bunch of micro bubbles there won't be any way to get rid of them these aren't very thick so you won't have a lot of surface to sand I'll let these cure and then I will do the decal on them and then a clear coat of epoxy over them and that's all there is to them they look like this on the back and then the decal on the other side. And I did buy these resin molds from Amazon. I think 10 of them were about $15. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.